Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today I'm gonna show you and tell you where to get a lot of presets for Lightroom for free. And maybe uh, this video actually shows me being an idiot because I realized that those presets were there just maybe a week ago. And if you already know this, I'm sorry for wasting your time, maybe. But maybe you don't know this, so it will be helpful. So without further ado, let me show you where to get all of those free presets. Uh, this will work on uh, like Android, iOS, uh, Windows and Mac and uh, Apple, all of those systems. So because this is the Adobe, all the same Adobe, all the same Lightroom, everything is the same. And those presets are actually built in, sort of built in into Lightroom. Those presets are made by people, by other photographers, and those people upload, upload those presets to this like community tab. And uh, well, let's dig in the Lightroom and I will show you. So this is my Lightroom uh, for Windows. It shows me just my photos. So let's go to this uh, tab and let's press discover. And right now we can see this beautiful and wonderful text, which says discover edits from the community. So this is like community uh, place to share their presets and editing and all of those good stuff. Uh, we can have, or we have here a lot of um, a lot of categories all of, the, all of those presets and uh, we can browse through all of them but I just uh, just let's see all of them at once so let's pick a photo mm, any photo will do maybe like this and right now it shows us this looping uh, kind of slideshow uh, which uh, shows us the steps of the editing and uh, how those editing steps affect our photo and on the right side, we can see all of those steps and all of those editing like sliders and uh, options. Uh, we can pause uh, by pressing on any of those uh, editing steps and we can see all the numbers associated with this. Uh, so, for example, vibrance minus uh, plus 18, plus 18, uh, temperature plus 14 uh, and all of those stuff. So those are all the edits made by the photographer. So we can see that the original was a JPEG and the final image up to uh, the tools. So it shows the brush, all of the, uh, all of the gradients, uh, like it shows everything. Uh, we can go to this info tab and it will show us which uh, camera actually was used. So this, uh, this photographer used uh, Sony uh, A6000 with a uh, 18 to 105 f4 lens. So as you can see, all of the all of those exif data are here and we can see how this photo actually came to be. So and if you like this preset, you can uh, like you can uh, favorite it, you can share it with others. You can just uh, maybe report it. But now let's say we want to save it. So this here button just does just that. So let's press save as preset. And now thank you. Uh, we can choose uh, to rename this preset, we can choose the group uh, where we want to save this preset and we can choose what kind of like editing uh, tabs, editing steps we want to copy. So tools, I just don't do tools, everything except tools. And press save and now this preset actually appeared in your saved preset group. So how awesome is that? And this was completely free. Um, so we can just go and browse a lot more of those presets and copy just all of them if we want to. And again, if you already knew about this and I realized this just recently, my bad and I'm an idiot and well, but maybe you don't. So this was the Windows kind of setup. And now let me switch to my Android device and I will show you the recording of the screen and how to achieve how to get all of those presets on your mobile device. So this is my Lightroom uh, on my Android device. And again, it will work on iOS as well. Uh, so it has, uh, we see all of those uh, albums, all of those photos, everything. And we need to go to the lowest uh, tab and discover, press discover. Uh, we see here uh, just almost the same, almost identical layout all, all, on all of those presets. Let's just go and uh, select maybe this cool Mercedes. And uh, again, we will see a slideshow of uh, those little edits being applied to this photo. 
and we can just press edits and see all of them and scroll through them. So linear gradient, uh, radial gradient, blah, 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 and everything like that. Uh, if we want to uh, save this preset, we need to go to the upper right hand corner and press those three dots. Uh, oh, and there is no option to save. By the way, uh, some people actually might uh, like might not enable the option of other people downloading their preset. And here is a good example of that. So we can actually uh, we don't have uh, we cannot save this preset, but we can reproduce all of those numbers because those edits are available. So as you can see, we can see that this is red hue minus 26, saturation plus 36, and light uh, plus 25. We can just reproduce all of those. Uh, by like scrolling and uh, applying all of those edits on our like PC or Mac. So it's uh, not just, it won't stop you from like copying all of those edits if the author disabled the save as preset feature. But for the sake of this example, let's find a photo that is actually available to be saved. Uh, so again, slideshow, let's go to three dots and uh, yes, we can see open and edit. We can save as preset, uh, share and report. So let's press save as preset and uh, we can again rename it and uh, choose a, uh, a folder to save this preset and let's go ahead and save it. And now it says that it is saved and it will be synchronized throughout all of your devices that use Lightroom and are signed in signed into your Creative Cloud account. And uh, I believe this is it, so those presets are completely free and uh, if I am the only one who discovered it like three days ago, I'm a total idiot. Uh, but if you did not know about this and uh, this video was helpful, then here you go. And by the way, thank you guys very much for more than 200 subs on this channel. I've never actually uh, seen my channel come to this uh, number. But anyway, if you want to become the part of this team, uh, go ahead and subscribe and drop a like on this video. And if you just uh, have any question whatsoever, just drop it down below in the comment section. And otherwise, uh, thank you guys very much for watching and I will see you in my next video.